Okay, what's up YouTube? I'm here and um, I'm here to do a vinyl update and this is something I'm going to start doing this year which hopefully we can continue and I hopefully I can remember making videos like this. It's each after a month pass. I'm going to do an update of all the vinyls I picked up that month. Um, so this is going to be January's vinyl update. So I hope you guys enjoy it and I'm going to show you all the vinyls I picked up this this month. So I guess to start off with um, one of the cool ones I picked up this year so far is the Winter Plagues Decimate the Weeks first um, Winter Plagues first album. This is limited. Um, this one's on a white vinyl that's limited to 200 copies. Two, not 200, um, 2,000 copies. It's on a solid white vinyl. And this one, I, th I guess it was like the era of white vinyls because I have, I got, I think I got more white vinyls than any other co um, color vinyl this month. So, do you guys enjoy that? Um, this, um, one of the other albums I picked up is a Wilhelm Scream. Um, this is um, Party Crasher, that's the name of the album. And um, this is on a Hot Top exclusive clear blue with blue splatter and this one's limited to if I'm correct a thousand or five hundred copies like around there but these guys are a good like punk band definitely pick it up if you guys have the chance um there it's on the bargain bin now because nobody's been buying it so I definitely recommend they only picked it up for ten bucks um let's see Uh, here's one that I picked up yesterday. Um, it's one of the only um, hair metal bands I love. Skid Row's um, self-title. Uh, I think this is their first album. And this is the reissue on 180 gram. Um, original price was supposed to be $27. And then yesterday, um, no, Friday we, I went to the mall with my friend. or had it on sale for 10 bucks, but I didn't pick it up then. I picked it up yes on uh, Saturday when we went, um, with my friend when he came back from rehab and um, 180 gram on black vinyl and it was on sale for 10 bucks but there was also another sale take out um, it's 50% off if it's on sale so it was five bucks so from 27 to five bucks so definitely worth it sounds amazing on vinyl great album. Here's one that I did an unboxing of, Rise Again, um, The Sufferers and The Witness, which is just a plain black vinyl, uh, plain black vinyl, great album, one that I definitely um, blast a lot, and it comes with a bonus track that's not on the CD, which makes it even more cooler. Um, I like when vinyls come with exclusive bonus tracks that CDs version don't don't get because it makes it all more worth it. And here's um, Rens' first album, self-title. This is a Hot Top exclusive on red, like clear red. And I read online this one's limited to 800 copies, if I'm correct, 800. Was it 800 or 500? Like around 800 to 500. I, I forgot which one. I read it online, but really didn't remember which one. I really want to fit in. Yeah. Uh, here's one that I just did an unboxing of. This is Pathologies. Um, Legacy of the Ancients, first pressing on clear blue vinyl. This one's limited to 100 copies. Definitely pick it up if you could because um, they still have a lot of copies of this. Nobody really knows this then, so that's the advantage.
Here's one, um, The Devil's Brain. Um, on the Metal Club exclusive with the lemon, um, the, like, the 3D artwork. And this is just on a plain black mono. So, uh, I enjoyed this album a lot. It's not their greatest, obviously, but it's one that I jam out to time to time. I really love the artwork, though. Artwork is fucking amazing. And sorry it's taking a while. I'm just trying to figure out which ones I got this month. Um, here's Death Symbolic. The reissue from Metal Blaze, which I prefer over the Roadrunner version. This was limited to a thousand copies, if I'm correct. And it's on a pure white vinyl. Great album. It's a Death album. and Yeah, it's a great album. It's probably my fourth favorite Death album. It's after the first three, then it goes to this one. Hmm. Nice. I don't remember if I got this in this month or last month, but I guess I'm just gonna put it. Um, this is um, Dead Kennedy says, um, freaking what's it called again? Give me comp. Conferous, forgive me, death. Fuck, let me see. Give me conference and or give me death. Sorry if I mispronounced it. Um, this is on the solid black vinyl and it's 180 gram remastered. And yeah, it sounds great. Definitely a great punk band. Dead Kid is an amazing punk band. I just want them to come to Jersey or New York. I go see them, but... Hey? I'm almost dropping everything I see. Now, uh, here's one. Crosses. <laughs> Crosses. Um, first um, album, self-title. It's on double... It's on a double LP on white vinyls. So, like I said, these guys... I have three white 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 vinyls in my collection. Great album, definitely recommend you guys giving it a try. Let's see. Here's one. The The Clashes um Combat Rock vinyl. Um, remaster, same thing like the Dead Kennedys, 180 gram, black vinyl, one of my favorite punk albums, definitely, great album. Top exclusive um, Halo of Blood of Trinity Bottom limited to 500 copies, and it's just on a solid red vinyl. Let's see, solid red vinyl. Great album, great like death metal album. Trinity Bottom, great fucking band. Um, let's see. And then, um, here's one that's n still new in my collection. Um, until I feel nothing from Carnifex, limited to 440 copies, if I'm correct, on uh, lime green vinyl. So this is my first lime green. Looks fucking nice. Great album. Great deathcore album. If you want to give it a try. But if you want more like death metal sounding for them, they're um. Their new album, Die Without Hope, they sound more death metal. 
than Deathcore, so I enjoyed that album more than Until Nothing But This is my second favorite. I think that's about it, if I'm correct. Um, I think that's about it of all the vinyls I picked up so far this month. So, um, yeah, it's just right. Uh, so, yeah, so definitely in February, it's still going to come out new vinyls. I still got to pick up Napalm Death's new album. Let's see, Napalm Death. Um, I still need Mastodon's Once More Around the Sun on vinyl. Mm, let's see, there's just a couple more. I need to get the new reissues of Iron Maiden's on vinyl. They have a um, subtitle. Iron Maiden self-title, they have um, Killers and freaking Number of the Beast, so I'm definitely picking those up on vinyl. Oh yeah, I forgot, here's another one I picked up on vinyl, almost forgot, the Cattle Decapitation on clear vinyl, um, self um, not self um single of um, Your Disposal on clear vinyl, great fucking album. I agree, fucking single. Um, love Cattle Decapitation. They're my favorite Duff Grind band. Um, oh, yeah. It's most likely there's going to be new Cattle Decapitation vinyls in my collection. Um, so, yeah, we just got to wait what 2015 throws at us. There's going to be... Um, so far, I believe it's been a good month for... So far for 2015, great start off with my vinyl collection. Got even more vinyls to get it bigger. Um, most likely... I think the next one I'm gonna buy it's either Mayhem or Mayhem or um, what's it called um, Carcass um, Surgical Steel on picture disc vinyl. So we just have to wait and see. But I'll uh, just continue making videos and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. I um, hope you guys throw up a good year and we just gotta see what comes up. Alright, guys, take care. See ya.